So this is an example of measuring the RPM using a rotary encoder. In this case, we are using a delta encoder. And its outputs are A, B and Z, <coughs> three outputs. Uh, the speed of the motor is controlled by, a, of, of this shaft rather, is controlled by a DC motor. It's connected to a PLC. That's channel A and channel B. You see constant lights because of the RPM. And uh, the output is displayed on an HMI. And you can see that it's measuring RPM as well as direction of rotation. So as a matter of interest, we are using an oscilloscope that shows the outputs of channel A and channel B. And uh, now I'm going to increase the RPM a little bit and you will see a greater number of pulses coming up. Increase. Yeah, increase a little bit more. Some more. Yeah. Okay, reduce it. Yeah, the pulse is stretching. Okay, and uh, you can see both channels here. And to identify both channels separately, I'm going to switch over to only instead of a dual mode, I'm going to channel one. That's your first channel, and uh, this is in dual mode. And you can see very clearly that uh, in the dual mode, uh, channel B is out of phase with channel one, with channel A by 180 degrees. This is what helps us to detect direction of rotation. So this is an example of speed measurement using a rotary encoder. Use a main engine, uh, generators, alpha lubricators, almost everywhere these days. Measuring RPM at Anglo Eastern.